Welcome to Rule 303. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a real blast from the past. Any man of a certain age who was interested in either camping, survival, military or the outdoors in the UK in the 70s or 80s will probably be aware of this book, The SAS Survival Handbook by John Lofty Wiseman. Now, when I was a kid, this was my Bible. Any adventure that I had as a child kind of really started here. In fact, there were many adventures I didn't have as a child that I kind of lived through this book. The SAS Survival Handbook predates the internet by many, many, many years. So when you haven't got a bloody clue about how to do anything to do with outdoors or survival or whatever, your options were pretty limited really uh, and this was one of the very few quality options that you got of actually getting some decent information now this book was like i say an absolute bible to me it covered just about everything i mean i used to as a kid randomly open this book up and just read it just out of complete in interest really so you've got things like car accidents goes into brake failures and collisions what to do if your car gets trapped underwater and you're in it and even if you've got kids in the car, what do you do? Disaster in the air. And then, I mean, just randomly going forward, what we got here. So it's split into the handy sections like climate and terrain. As you can see as an example there, it sort of sub subsections everything so that you can kind of see exactly what you're doing, where you are. So let's take, here we go, polar regions. So, you know, precautions, how to make snowshoes. What else have we got here? Clothing and polar regions. Hunting and trapping. Seals. Polar bears, bloody hell. There's a big square around that. Be careful of polar bears. And then things like mountains. Using a cradle. How to abseil. Just about anything that you can imagine. It really... And it just goes on and on and on and on. And on. It goes into things like insects, bees, wasps, and then there's a really nice, actually, colour section on edible plants. I mean, I guess this book was designed for worst case scenarios in mind, um, but, you know, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Even today, I mean, I got this I got this copy given to me by my father-in-law, bless him, who, who, who had had it himself for years, and, uh, oh my God, fun guy. Let's not go there. Um... Arctic and northern plants. I mean, it even gives you colour plates of the, of the of the plants in the in the different hemispheres in the Arctic and the northern hemisphere, and it just goes on and on and on. Then we get into the really good fun stuff like how to build traps, snares, deadfall traps, baited spring leg snares, toggle and bait release snares, double ended figure of eight snares, the platform trap trapeze spring snares and then it starts getting into bigger animals that you can capture like square face release traps and deadfall traps and spear traps and bungee traps i mean just look at that it's just insane you know pig spear traps baited pigs i mean look at the bloody state of that and this is a, a personal favorite of mine that i can remember that I mean, holy mother of God. I can remember as a 13-year-old looking at that and thinking, holy crap, that's just amazing. And then there's this dark-ass bugger, the baited whole noose, which is, involves driving stakes through the earth, that kind of basically keep an animal stuck in it. I mean, as a hunter, you know, all this stuff really gives me the willies, but I can see why it would for some people. New sticks, hunting, and then there's a yeah, there's a whole section on weapons, how to make it, which is brilliant. So how to make a bow, how to make arrows, weapons from flint, slingshots, catapults. It just goes on and on and on. I mean, there's very little um, actually attached to bolas and spears and spears, spear chuckers and all sorts of things. There's very little actually in this uh, in this book about guns. It tells you how to prepare kills and things like that. 
And the reason that there's not much about guns is I think predominantly this book was designed to be, I mean, that's quite useful. Look at that, joint in meat. Really, this gun was designed for uh, circulation mainly in the UK, in the English speaking sort of UK, maybe Europe. But um, it wasn't really a um, an American thing. Uh, and guns, obviously, in the UK are significantly less um, than they are in uh, in America. So you know, it's not really catered more towards firearms. It's more towards field craft, I guess. This I used to love this bit. The Arctic shelter it kind of teaches you how to make a shelter under a tree, how to make snow walls. How to make a snow trench, how to make igloos, and it just goes on and on and on. I mean, you know, <laughs> it doesn't just stop at telling you how to make igloos, it actually teaches you how to make about four different types. You know, um, how to long term shelter, the difference between long and short term shelter. Um, I mean, Lofty Wiseman must have been an absolute master of this stuff, he must have so known what he was doing. And it just goes on and on. I mean, we are barely halfway through the book at this point. You know, I mean, it, it goes into ri ridiculous scenarios. But they might happen. Volcanoes. Nuclear explosions. Radiation. Earthquake. I mean, you've got to remember that tornadoes, lightning and so on and so forth. You've got to remember, though, that this book was published um, during a period of time when people were really worried about the prospects of nuclear war. It was something that we were, as kids, we, we grew up doing drills and things. And, you know, it was something that we honestly thought was a likelihood um, and something that I had a fear of when I was uh, when I was a kid. So the kind of the backstory to this book really was um, a society in the UK, certainly, that was very much wanting to be ready for things. And as a result of that, this book was born. Um, it is a legendary book in its own right. It really is. Um, and then after this book had been published, Lofty Wiseman didn't stop there. He then he then went on to publish another book called the Urban Survival Handbook, which then just took it to a different level. Um, and this book is, I mean, it's the, the principles of it are similar, I guess, but really this um, this book deals more with the. <laughs> I mean, this is good, isn't it? You know, it goes into everything from sickle cell and anemia. I've just happened to open this uh, this page, which obviously goes into genital warts, gonorrhea, and pubic lice and syphilis. Um, so yes, he leaves absolutely no dirty stone unturned. It goes on and on and on. Um, and uh, yeah, this this uh, so I mean, some of it, some of this is kind of a duplicated slightly. Um, but there's some absolutely brilliant illustrations in here around self-defense and stuff like that. Um, I mean, these books are available on eBay and they're really worth getting because even in these days of the Internet, they're great just to have a flick through. They're really, really great just to have a flick through. I really like this. I mean, he goes in one book we're talking about, you know, nuclear explosions to in the in the in the urban survival book. He talks about things like work posture and badly designed seats. Um you know, and, and, and things like that. But it is a really, really fantastic read. Both of these books are amazing and uh, just, just so readable. I learned so much from these books, just, just from just picking them up and opening random pages and, and reading them. I mean, you know, yeah, chainsaws. <laughs> um, I, the guy clearly really knew what he was doing, really knew his stuff. Um, he was in the SAS after all, and you know we all know that the SAS are pretty much the best of the best. Um, whatever anybody says, they are up there. Um, and yeah, they're 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 two they're two really weighty tomes. They're 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 two big old books. 
but I would recommend anybody, even uh, if you've read these already, uh, to buy the SAS Survival Handbook by John Wiseman or the Urban Survival Handbook by the same author. They are amazing and well, well worth a read and uh, available relatively cheap, cheaply on eBay these days. So uh, again, thanks for listening as always. Um, and uh, don't worry, we'll be having some more gun reviews and gun related and hunting related stuff coming up soon. But um, at the moment, I'm trying to get the channel underway um, and I'm really picking st stuff up and running with it. You know, um, I mean, some of this stuff might get deleted as the channel progresses. Uh, if you like it, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd really like to gauge, you know, what people are finding interesting and uh, informative. But um yeah, uh, give us a like and please subscribe. That really does help. And uh, carry on watching these videos. Thanks very much.